<laughs> Fuck! There's something in the air! There's something up with the air. There's a problem with the oxygen pipes. They can't find us, so they're trying to flush us out. The soldiers? Probably. But they don't know that we can access the oxygen directly from the gardens. The nanocrystals open some possibilities for us. I've automated the process. You can now order gear, improvements, and equipment here, without my help. I asked Annette about the lock in my brain. Yes, yes. She already sent me a memo. I don't need the access right now anyway. I was just curious. Someone must manually fix the oxygen piping in the gardens. Take care of it when you find the time. I've sent the details to the MIP terminal. Good. I was hoping for a chance for another experiment. Fucker me up, Scotty. Have you found any interesting parts for the suit? Your armor. Good. Trash this. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Air bad. Yeah, it sucks. Air bad. No breathe. Ask doctor. Ask Danette. Minikin fix. I like swords. They never run out of ammo.
There's nothing I couldn't use to kill bad guys. What's the problem, Kay? There's something up with the air. The soldiers don't know our location, but they must have some suspicions, so they've blocked the air ducts. We have some reserves and emergency air scrubbers. We can hold on for a few days, but we have to deal with it soon. So what now? Dr. Bielik has a plan. There are shipboard gardens nearby. They produce most of the oxygen for the ship. Ask the doctor about the details. I've uploaded the basics on the map. You must train your brain capacity so I can activate more of your abilities.
Activity detected in the cleaning zone. Gas danger. Evacuation routes are now open. Attention. Do not remain in the zone during the cleaning process. <laughs> There's a shit pile of those assholes.
glad that you were able to fix the oxygen supply. I apologize for the complications. There is a huge collection of Earth's flora stored there. The original plan was to use them for terraforming and colonization on Tau City F. I've started to work with several machines, but cloning is an energy-intensive process. We need a better power supply. Ask Daniet. She has a plan for how to do it safely. Daniet wants to start with making our own clones. Don't take it personally. We couldn't have made it without you, but we desperately need some reinforcements. It's a rather complicated process, since we don't want another bunch of Wagner's brainless zombies. It will take some time before we have anything usable. Have you found any interesting parts for the suit? Oh, timer. Good. Another surgery. Great. Me up, Scotty. Crash this. Minikin good. Good. Power low. Danette plans. Power plan. Ask. Minikin good. Can upgrade. Minikin can. Swords don't kill people. I kill people. Great. We don't have to worry about the air anymore. Good job. When I hacked the system, I released those monsters too. I didn't intend for that to happen, but now they're everywhere in the garden area. It's one of the sadder results of the genetic and social experiments. You'll have to return to the gardens, to the service area. We need to start the electrical generators there. I'll be navigating you directly. Felix started with his experiments, and we're suddenly missing power. We need more, but we can't take it from the ship network undetected. There are several emergency generators in the garden service area. We can plug into them and solve our power problems. But someone, namely you, has to physically hack the power routing terminal. What do you want to learn now?
You are getting closer to the service area. You must locate the control terminal. Attention. Unauthorized entry in the security section on floor 11. Target. Target identified. 
Здравствуйте. It seems that the mutant who attacked you is a prototype number 511, codename Hammerhead. We weren't experimenting with only normal, pure cloning. We were trying to enhance the abilities of the clones with various mutations and splicing. Our goal was to create ultimate workers and soldiers. We needed those for a successful colonization. But Professor Wagner was always trying various bizarre combinations. He really liked monsters. So why did you help Wagner? Yeah, you don't understand. My dream was to reach perfection. The human body, it's so limited and flimsy. When we started our journey from Earth, it was an opportunity. I was hoping that we'll improve our humans and that the colonization will be successful. I hoped we would create something wonderful on Tao City. But Wagner, he concentrated on soldiers, power, personal might. He was making monsters, and eventually he came one, and he almost dragged me down with him. Why did you join us? There's no simple answer. I honestly admit that survival was one of the factors. Maybe the soldiers would just lock me up. But who knows? And they would probably pick me as a scapegoat for all of Wagner's atrocities. If the net succeeds, 
there's still a chance to go on, to reach my dreams on Tao City. And there was also you. What? You joined because of me? How to say it? I worked on you. I poured so much of my time and hopes into your enhancements. You didn't know? In the hindsight, not much good came from our research. You're one of the few examples of things that we made right. And I would hate to see you executed or taken apart by some stupid amateur who wants to see how you work. Sorry, I'm not usually so emotional. We'll talk about it later. Have you found any interesting parts for the suit? Four armor. Good. Crash this. Minikin needs another engineer and tools. Minikin needs another engineer and tools. You look Bill Hops. Ask Danette. Minikin, you look Bill Hops. Minikin armorer. Good Minikin. Minikin armorer. Good Minikin. Ah, uh, that was close. I didn't expect they'd try to ambush us. Who are you? We have time now. This again? I suggest you concentrate. <sighs> but you're right. I promised I'd tell you all about me. As I already said, I'm another of Wagner's experiments. Like you, that's what we have in common. But there are differences. Not that they matter much, but... What differences? You started as an elite soldier and Wagner tried to make you even better. A super soldier. With me, he intended to create a... super scientist, you might say. And like you, he treated me like shit. And I didn't like it. Wagner was a first-class asshole. Now go on. Later, Kay. I really want to concentrate on what I'm doing right now. Unpleasant memories would distract me. So I suggest you go and do what you do best. Check the map. There's a lot of work to do. They tried, they died. Yes, the ambush failed. But our primary goal failed too. I've sucked as much as I could into our capacitors. We couldn't risk using the power connection for long when they knew we were there. We have enough for now, but we'll have to look for other sources later. The drones are part of the automated security system. There's quite a lot of them on the ship. They can identify anyone, and if anything doesn't fit their programming, they raise the alarm and execute the attack. What were you doing before you started working for Wagner? You won't leave this alone, will you? Listen, there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, they did a lot of things to you, but your core, it's still your own personality. You were formed by your childhood, by your experiences, by everything before you became an experiment. But me? I don't have anything like that. 
There's nothing to talk about. That asshole tried to wipe my memory. He done that to you too? No, you don't understand. I was born on board. My first memories? Wagner. He was the first and the only real human I've ever talked with for a very long time. I didn't have an education. I had simulations and virtual reality, and I was listening to his blathering. I don't want to talk about it. We need to focus on what's important. You'll go down to the docks for Bill Hops, one of the ship technicians. Minikin needs his help. Unlike us, he's just a normal, unenhanced human. But with a bit of luck, he'll be willing to join us. Minikin's old friend, William Hops, is hiding in the docks. He's evading both zombies and soldiers. He's a great engineer. He has good tools. And we could use someone like that on our base. Hey, we're human too. So what's the problem with unenhanced? Uh, I meant, there's theoretically no reason for Hops to hide from soldiers. He's not an escaped experiment. And what we have in common is that soldiers see us as freaks. We're experiments that should be put inside the freezer. You, me, poor Minikin. Belik's an experiment too? Dr. Belik, there's a difference. Feel free to ask him why he joined us. Do you want to learn something new? The toxic levels are rising. Find the valves and close them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
How's it going? Ah, another surgery. Great. Fire me up, Scotty. Interesting parts for the suit. Crash this. Good. I was hoping for a chance for another experiment. Crash this. Technician here. Just zombies. Kill them and find the hangar door. The next area should be clear. Can't be sure though. This bill disabled some of the sensors. So as always, use a bit of caution and enough Bay access. Denied. The locking mechanism is set to manual mode. I guess Bill doesn't like visitors. What the hell am I supposed to do now? The door won't open. The hydraulics connection is manually closed somewhere else. Look around. Maybe you'll find a control panel for the local hydraulics network. Or Bill. He might be somewhere around. Control panel. Still no hops. Yes, that should be it. There should be a mechanical lever or a Nothing. An empty hole, though. Like something's missing. Damn. You have to find Bill. Hopefully he's hiding somewhere nearby. Try the generator shaft. I've opened the door. I guess Bill will have the lever on him. <laughs> 